Let's imagine this scenario. We get off at a bus stop or subway station, but still need to walk quite a distance to our final destination. This could be because of infrequent or no public transportation services, or not owning a car, for instance. Candemaru Group aims to provide a variety of smart mobility services to provide a seamless travel experience that closely fills the last step toward the destination. In deploying smart cities and smart mobility solutions, greenfield cities or newly designed cities tend to maximize the effect of deployment of solutions than existing cities. Accordingly, JTC was ideal partner for testing smart city solutions since they master plan, develop, and manage new industrial districts. Jurong Innovation District will be Asia's leading one-stop advanced manufacturing hub. Solely master plan, developed and managed by JTC, this district supports Singapore Manufacturing 2030 plan, representing the next lap of manufacturing in Singapore. JID is a test bed for new mobility solutions that will transform the way people and goods move within the estates. When launching a new service, one of the most difficult things is that there is a gap between demand and supply of the service, which leads to inadequate response, resulting in customer dissatisfaction or inefficiency in operation. We decided to conduct a study on how traffic demand will change and how the future population will move as the preliminary step to deploy new mobility service. I'm excited to see JTC and Hyundai working together to study how public and private transport flows can be further optimised to cater for on-demand requests. We decided to analyse traffic demand in this area focusing on Bulim, where will be Hyundai's next smart factory hub in Singapore, and surrounding areas like Jurong West, Cleantech Park, and upcoming prisons like Bahar and Tenga. To do this, First, the area was divided into sub-zones using land use plan, population statistics, GIS data, and national transportation model. Then the traffic volume between the starting point A and the destination B was calculated. Then we selected candidate services for our future mobility like self-driving shuttle, taxi, and personal mobility and we ran survey to find citizens' willingness to use and acceptance. Based on this simulation result, the optimal size of the fleet was found and evaluated on three performance indicators, operational efficiency, customer convenience, and market and government initiative impact. Through conducting over 1,000 surveys and face-to-face -face interviews, we learned how people got around and preference for future mobility options. Furthermore, we were able to learn how much future traffic demand would increase within JID area and a certain number of vehicles needed. Last but not least, we are able to simulate where to designate pickup and drop-off points, charging stations, and service depot. The results of the study can potentially help optimise transport flows in GID and shape urban planning guidelines to support smart mobility transport models in JTC Next Generation Estates. The space typically set aside for conventional roads can be a shared resources or even repurposed for individuals, businesses or green zones. Singapore is one of the most important strategic market for Hyundai, not only in developing the EV ecosystem, but also smart city business. But not limited to that, Singapore is also a very important testbed to showcase various smart city solutions, and we would love to expand smart city business to nearby global markets. <laughs>